from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. The Fusion Superplex last night said 70 more workers will be recalled after the government gave the go-ahead to reopen its cinemas. Its top executives saying the staff want to bring champagne in. Carlos Folks, the cinema and entertainment complex's chief executive, told the Tribune that both company and workers were celebrating after the prime minister's office finally gave permission to reopen its main revenue generator almost 11 months after COVID-19 restrictions forced its closure. He confirmed that Fusion Superplex had immediately begun the process of recalling furloughed staff upon receiving the competent authority's letter, which was dated February 12, 2021, and signed by Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis yesterday. The letter, which was widely circulated on social media, said Fusion Superplex is now exempt from the government's emergency powers risk management order number 4, 2020, which forced the closure of its cinemas and all other outlets in March 2020. The Malia Nassau Beach Resort will stop operating for 24 months as it undergoes renovations, an action that could make more than 300 people redundant. Yesterday, Tourism Minister Dionisio de Aguilar called the announcement a severe punch in the gut. Daniel Lozano, the resort's general manager, said in a staff letter that operations at the resort will cease on March 1. The letter read, quote, It is our hope that with extending closure of the resort and undertaking a renovation, we are setting the stage for successful opening of a brand new resort, one that will promote the much-needed economic relief and stability upon which all of us depend. The toughest part of our decision relates to those whom this decision impacts, which is you, our Malia family. Mr. Lozano said current employees will be invited to apply for a job when the resort reopens. Darren Woods, president of the Bahamas Hotel Catering and Allied Workers Union said Malia employs about 400 people, including management, and has a line staff of over 220 people. Members of the Rastafarian community want to see special provisions put in place for them as it relates to the manufacturing and cultivation of cannabis for medicinal use once legislation has been passed. Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis announced earlier this month the government is currently completing legislation to legalize medicinal marijuana. Speaking to the Tribune yesterday, head of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress Bahamas branch, Priest Rithman McKinney said while the community supports the move, they want assurance. Rastafarians will be part of the marijuana industry when made legal, as they have suffered the most because of the criminalization of the popular herb. Health officials are waiting to receive the test results of 52 positive COVID-19 samples, which were sent abroad to determine if any of the new coronavirus strains are present in the Bahamas. More than 80 countries, including the U.S., have already detected COVID-19 mutations, which were first spotted in the U.K. Another strain out of South Africa is also said to have spread to some 30 countries. Meanwhile, in Brazil, a new coronavirus variant has also since been detected there. Yesterday, the director of the National Reference Laboratory Dr. Indira Martin told the Tribune there is no evidence at the moment to suggest that any new strains are currently present in the country. According to Dr. Martin, 52 positive COVID-19 samples were sent to a reference laboratory in Brazil several weeks ago. It is not clear when test results will be released, but Dr. Martin said officials are hoping soon. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, in a text message, a radicalized Trump supporter suggested getting a boat to ferry heavy weapons across the Potomac River into the waiting arms of their members in time for January 6th, court papers have said. It wasn't just idle talk, authorities say. Investigators found invoices for more than $750 worth of live ammunition and for a firearm designed to look like a cell phone at the Virginia home of Thomas Caldwell, who's charged with conspiring with members of the far-right Oath Keepers militia group in one of the most sinister plots in the U.S. Capitol siege. Right-wing extremists, blessed by Donald Trump, were unleashed last month, and their menacing presence has reignited the debate over domestic extremism and how law enforcement should be handling these groups. When the coronavirus pandemic took hold in India, there were fears it would sink the fragile health system of the world's second most populous country. Infections climbed dramatically for months, and at one point, India looked like it might overtake the United States as the country with the highest case toll. But infections began to plummet in September, and now the country is reporting about 11,000 new cases a day, compared to a peak of nearly 100,000, leaving experts perplexed. They have suggested many possible explanations for the sudden drop seen in almost every region, including that some areas of the country may have reached herd immunity or that Indians may have some pre-existing protection from the virus. 
The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. A frontal system just northwest of the island chain will generate some pockets of unsettled weather over portions of the northwest Bahamas as it sags southwards. Meanwhile, high pressure will continue to dominate elsewhere throughout tonight. Boaters in the extreme northwest Bahamas should remain vigilant due to the threat of possible water spread activity. Beachgoers should exercise caution due to the risk of rip currents along eastern and southern shorelines. In the northwest Bahamas, it'll be variably cloudy, warm, and a bit breezy, with isolated showers and thunderstorms occurring mainly in the extreme northwest Bahamas through tonight. Expect gusty winds and higher seas in or near heavy showers and thunderstorms. Winds south-southeast to south-southwest at 15 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet over the ocean. In the central and southeast Bahamas, it'll be mostly sunny, warm, and breezy, with a few light passing showers this afternoon becoming mostly fair and breezy, with a stray shower or two possible tonight. A small craft's caution is in effect. Effect. Winds east to southeast at 15 to 20 knots, gusty at times. Seas 4 to 7 feet over the ocean, higher in gusts. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 85 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 73. The sun will set this afternoon at 6.03 and will rise tomorrow morning at 6.42. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper. Now on the streets or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.